Okay, so this is everything that I'll be taking with me on the PCT. Uh, so I'll just get started. That is my backpack. It's the Osprey Exos 38. Um, yeah, I did a review on that, so you can check that out if you really want to. Um, this is our shelter. It's the Sierra Designs Tensegrity 2. And it just has one little pull and uh, stakes. Um, I think there's nine stakes. They're kind of a lot like the MSR Groundhog stakes. They're really, really good. And it's a trekking pole tent, so we have these. Um, they're just the Cascade Mountain Tech um, trekking poles. And I have little snow baskets on there just in case. Um, and under that, just a sheet of polycro. Um, this is the just some old sit pads that we've had for a while that we're gonna bring. Uh, or probably not. We ordered some new ones, but yeah, similar kind of sit pad. And then I'm gonna start with the Brooks Cascadia. I don't even know. I think they're the tens. Yeah, tens. And the the Cosmic Dirty Girl Gators. Um, so I put the Velcro on the back. Um, this is my poop kit. Just a date bag with toilet paper and reduce the spades. Um, up here is my sleep system. I have the just the Z light, and then I'm doing the it's the Alps Mountaineering um, liner. It's like a fleece liner, so it's kind of it's like a full mummy bag. Um, and then with that, I have the Costco throw blanket. And it's the only piece of down gear that I own. I'm not really proud of it, but it is what it is. And then, um, Noel has my pillow, so I'm just using hers right now just to show. It's the, it's a little pillow. I have the Trekology one. She has the Sea to Summit one. Um, over here is the clothes I'll be wearing. Uh, I just have my hat, bandana. Um, this is a shirt that I found at Value Village. It's just like a Cabela's really breathable sun shirt. Um, and then I have ex officio briefs, nine inch briefs. And these are my Royal Robins pants. They're really awesome. They're zip offs and they have the belt built in so that's really nice. Um, just a pair of darn tough socks. Um, these are extra clothes. Just like an extra shirt. It's really nice too. Nike running shorts. And then um, extra pair of briefs. I also got at Valley Village. Some might judge. <laughs> but I don't really care. And then some Injinji liners that I'm going to try out. Up here is more cold weather stuff or like sleeping clothes. So I have a beanie and just some Under Armour kind of liner gloves. Um, this is my Outdoor Research Ascendant hoodie. I did a review on that also. You can check that out. Um, this is my Terramar base layer. It's kind of like the gridded fleece um, stuff. It's really tight. I would recommend getting a, a base layer that is like really tight on your skin so you can keep in the most warmth. And so those two together keep me pretty warm. I think I'll have enough warmth, but I'll keep a fleece on hand if I need to send one ahead for colder areas like the Sierras or whatever. For my base layer bottoms I have these Under Armour um, super old Under Armour leggings. They're like mid-weight or maybe even heavyweight. They're super warm. Yeah, they're, they used to be camouflage. Kind of make me look like I have a skin disease. They have holes all in them and stuff, but they're really warm so they're coming. And I have a longer, thicker pair of darn tough socks for sleeping. And then this is just a Frog Togs rain jacket. And these are camp shoes, just a cheap pair of like, foam sandals. And um, over here, just my water filter. And then I'm going to be carrying the platypus with the hose, just because I like drinking from the hose. She doesn't. Um, yeah, this is the Catadyne B Free water filter. Uh, works really well, has a really fast flow, and um, yeah, so that'll be an extra liter to carry all the time too. And I think I'm just gonna carry a couple water bottles with that. 
And um, over here is all my ditty things and stuff. So this is like toiletries, my retainer. Um, tooth powder, we don't use toothpaste anymore. We just kind of use this little tooth powder. It's really convenient and really light. Also environmentally friendly, so you're not spitting nasty shit all over the trail. Um, have a small pair of nail clippers, toothbrush. Might cut it down a little bit, just so that it'll fit better in this little bag. Um, and then a small bottle of Dr. Bronner's. Uh, might get a smaller one also, but we'll see. And then this is my repair kit slash first aid kit. And it just has some band-aids, ibuprofen, um, sewing needle, some thread, and some tenacious tape and a little pair of scissors. Um, also, just some bug spray. We might make our own bug spray, just some lavender stuff or something. And um, I have a mosquito head net for when the bugs get really bad. I'm not gonna take this whole row of Luco tape. Probably gonna wrap it around my toothbrush or something. Or maybe this chapstick, that would be a good idea too. Um, yeah, just some chapstick. Um, Bic lighter. This is a little pocket knife I got from Value Village. It's really small and convenient. Um, over here is my electronics. I just have the Anchor 10,000 milliamp battery bank and a little cord that comes with that. And then um, phone charger for the iPhone 7, which I'm filming with now. And a pair of headphones and a little block for it. Um, this is just a uh, tripod for my phone to film with sometimes. Uh, this is just a headlamp, something that I got on Amazon. Um, and I'm going to bring a couple extra batteries. And then, um, yeah, that's it for electronics. It's just a cheap pair of sunglasses that I didn't steal. <laughs> this is kind of our cook kit, which she is actually going to be carrying since I'm going to be carrying the tent. Um, this is the MSR Big Titan kettle. So it's a two liter pot, so it's really big, but I think it's pretty necessary for two of us. And um, it's only like six ounces, it's really light. Um, and then we have the BRS stove, the little itty bitty stove. It's like less than an ounce. And um, tested it out with this thing and it works well, but it's just like a little bit wobbly. So you just gotta set it somewhere carefully. On a flat surface um but yeah that works well and then just a spork a sea to summit spork and this is going to be my soaking jar i think it's kind of big i might switch it out for a smaller one um but yeah some kind of a soaking container for cold soaking foods and um i think that's pretty much everything uh and a deck of cards for when we you know want to play some cards um, and then also, I'm debating on, need to bring some sort of a ball. Um, I'm thinking this one, because it's, it's super ultra light, and, um, yeah. But, uh, it's definitely going to bring some kind of a ball. But I think that's everything. So, yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them down below. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching.